Yeah, welcome back, dear students, as we continue in our Web3 Game 5 uh, development course 101. Uh, sorry for the background noise. And uh, today we are going to look at which blockchain, or let's say best blockchain for Game 5. Like I've explained earlier, you now know you need in Web3, you need blockchain and things like that. So, which blockchain? are the best from game five and uh there are some things i'll first need to for those of you that are new you know blockchain is a type of decentralized database which is not controlled by anybody but decentralized and with that come positive and also challenges for game development that's why you cannot usually put every aspect of your game on the blockchain so it will be too complicated, too costly, and things like that. I might even be slower experience for some in-game action. You know, there are a lot of action in the game that is like the user, the player press the button, twinkle number nine. Then if the player will have to wait or notice that it took time for it to then, it spoils the experience. You don't want that in your game. And, you know, we have uh, about two types of blockchain. We have the EVM and non-EVM. That's Ethereum virtual machine and the non-Ethereum uh, virtual machine. If you want to learn more about blockchain, blockchain development, smart contracts, you can take a course on Solidity uh, Blockchain Building app for beginner on the program university and you'll be able to learn better. But in summary, what the course is free so in some way you need a smart contract which is the code you put into the blockchain to execute instruction so to keep maybe the nft and some other game assets that you want to do so which one are now the best blockchain for me like i said i'm not a particular blockchain marxist marxist i appreciate the effort different blockchains are putting to pull the web TV space to mass adoption. So for now, in fact, a lot of blockchain, even those that claim they are the best yet, are not actually the best yet because they can't undo enough of load <laughs> request that mainstream games are handling now. That's the reality. So but it, with time they will become better are much better so any blockchain you have now maybe evm like ethereum uh bnb previously binance metis avalanche uh polygon Kronos, and a lot more and more like that a non-evm like flow which flow is more of very favorable to NFT and things like that, considering the integration with platforms like Facebook, Meta, uh, Instagram. So it may be a very good choice as well for NFT in-game assets and things like that, considering uh, some features that have been so, so, so dedicated to things like that on flow and some other blockchains like Solana and, you know, maybe Cardano, and more they are just a lot of them like that cosmos and more like that out there polka dot then i think we have affinity from uh there's this particular platform as well so affinity i think on the patching on polka dot so there are a lot of them like i said i've not come to tell you this is just because every one of these have not yet but to test it in terms of a game with massive use like as i see uh affinity also how to move i think maybe from ethereum to create a side a type of their own side chain and things like that so you know it's not easy uh, i think flow also was developed by the team that built this uh cat game uh i think uh crypto <laughs> Cards, no, it's not crypto card. Is is the first 
major crypto based game, Crypto Kitty. Good. That, you know, it became big that Ethereum was clogged, became slow, and things like that. So it's one of those things I think that triggered them to build Flow Blockchain. You get it? So there's none of this blockchain that I can give you a guarantee now that they have the maximum capacity to support a game that is actually at a mainstream level. So those are part of the things that you, you need to know now. So that's it for this uh, video. And you know, if you have any question, do let me know. And I would like to know in the discussion of the course, what are the blockchain you have been using? What experience, especially as a developer generally, and comparing NFT game development? Let's discuss together in the exercise and as well in the Discord. I remain Solomon Fuske of the Programming University. Keep the programming spirit high and alive and remember to do good to humanity and nature with your programming skill and not evil. The next blessing, peace and love.